Hello, chat! Investigative journalist Dan VR asking the burning questions, the desires of your heart. Was Layer 2 worth the wait? Short answer, fuck no. Long-term answer, this saved the game. Let me explain. So the Verse 2 update, the Layer 2 update, which brought us new oaths, new weapons, new mantras, the Layer 2 dungeon, and the overhaul of the map. It was not worth it. They just didn't add enough. They did not add enough to significantly change the game. So you have the, the Layer 2 dungeon, which was just not living up to the hype. When we first heard about Layer 2, we were told or we thought it was going to be super challenging. You were going to probably wipe a thousand different times before you beat it, but that the rewards would be insane. And then what really happened is that it came out, exploiters flew through the thing in maybe five minutes, leaked all the routes, leaked how to beat it, and then it was over. It wasn't fun at all. And the rewards, they're just not worth it. I mean, what? You get gems for you know, looking at a wall. So you just made Primadon fucking useless. You have the, you know, enchantment quest. So you just made Lapis useless. Why, why would I go to Lapis when I can get literally the exact enchant I want? Just mindlessly running through this goddamn forsaken snowstorm. Running through Minnesota. You added the Railblade and Light's Final Toll. The Railblade is cool. The Light's Final Toll is the biggest mistake ever added to the game it the damage was insane the fact you could enchant it you got free points because you only had to stack into willpower and the animations were so busted it was like fighting a black guy in the dark you might as well put your hands down and just accept you lost you can't fucking see what's happening all you know is that you're losing okay let's get into the overworld though so they added meteor island a bunch of new islands that you don't go to because there's no fucking reason to they split the Eastern Lumen and the Etrian Lumen in half to make the game less laggy. Somehow that made it even more laggy, but that's a fucking video for another day. You get whole new oaths, a lot of which... I mean, the oaths are the best part of the Verse 2 update for most people, and those could have easily been added in weeklies instead. Oaths were the coolest thing that came out of Verse 2, and it would have much better served the community and served the longevity of the game if they said, like, bi-weekly, here's a new oath to keep it fresh and exciting, the same way they did with Silent Heart. There's no reason why they had to just drop all the oaths at once in the Verse 2 update. It just didn't make sense. It would have made much... It would have served us much better during the Dark Ages if they gave us these little crumbs of um content and then focused more heavily on actually fleshing out layer two which i feel for the amount of effort they put in <laughs> the better part of a year is fucking pathetic i know i'm on a hater roll right now but we just it has to be done so short term really i think verse two as an update was a failure the best parts to come of it were the pvp changes and the addition of new oaths and those could have been added in updates previous to verse 2 and i did mention that verse 2 as an update is significantly going to improve the quality of the game and unfortunately what that means and i'm just gonna rip the band-aid off for all the people in denial after verse 2 deep woken is in the state that it should have released in this is like when a game developer like puts out the next Call of Duty, they promise you all this shit, you spend your $60, you get home, you download the game, none of it's there. And only after months of updates is it the game you were promised. That's essentially what happened with Momad Studios. Only now, months after Verse 2 is dropped with additional weekly updates that are pretty sizable in content, is the game in a state where it should have released. Think back to my OG players out there, to the first couple months of Deep Woken pre-trial of one, it was genuinely a bad game. If it was, if the combat wasn't such a masterpiece, I, there's no way I would have played the game. I don't think anyone would have really played the game. Now that is pretty sombering to hear. It does suck, but that's the reality of it. Verse two just took the game to the state that it always should have been in. And if you know, if you look at how they update the the game or the directive, like the creative direction of the game, you notice a trend. When they first made Deep Woken in those first couple months, they made a niche, 
very difficult roguelike where no build is the same it's very easy to wipe it's very challenging it's very dangerous to play the game and then they spent the next year reversing all that work to make it much more casual there it's not dangerous at all if you wipe in this game you either wanted to or you just lagged and got unlucky okay it's not hard to get in chance it's not hard to get good armor it's not hard to do the bosses or get murmur or anything like that so they spent all this time and effort making the game difficult and mysterious and challenging. And then they spent even more time reversing that. And I'm sure what's going to happen next is they're going to try and make the game a little harder. Because people are obviously complaining that the game is a fucking sleeper. You can make the same build every time with the addition of shrines. They're like, oh man, this wasn't what we wanted. It's too easy. Let's make it harder. A couple months after that, well now it's too hard. Like It's like they build a house... Then they burn the house down and try to rebuild it with the fucking rubble. Pick a creative direction and just stick to it. Yeah, that is my ramble. Verse 2 as an update unfortunately was a failure. However, it took Deepwoken to the best state it's ever been in. The developers now have the infrastructure to pump out even bigger updates at a quicker time frame. And hopefully the future of the game is incredibly bright. I think we are in, we have a very strong foundation to build up probably the best experience you'll ever play on Roblox. It's just a shame that us OG players had to go through about two years of waiting to get there. Peace out.